Welcome back to Amazing Words, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to talk about the deepest position in all of basketball, which has made such a drastic change from what it used to be back in the day, and that's the power forward position. At number five, you got to put Chris Bosh from the Miami Heat. 21.1 points last year, just over seven rebounds, coming off a season where he played. Most of it hurt and dealt with a lot of injuries, obviously. With a better team around him, expect big things. He'll be the man down in South Beach. LaMarcus Aldridge coming in at number four, and I think the most overlooked Number, when you're looking at the San Antonio Spurs, is that LaMarcus Aldridge is 30 years old. So, although his job will be much easier with the Spurs, 30 years old, he averaged 23 points, 10 rebounds a game last year for Portland. But he's on a new team. I don't expect him to have a career season this year. Number three is Blake Griffin, who averaged over five assists last year. Struggled grabbing rebounds. Averaged just 7.6, but his career average is 9.7. And let's all keep in mind that DeAndre Jordan was a monster on the glass last year. Also want to point out that Blake averaged just under 22 points a game. And he's going to be on a team that's obviously going to improve. And he'll be the head honcho, the best player on that team. Which takes me to number two. DeMarcus Cousins, the most emotional player in the NBA. We just want to find out why DeMarcus Cousins cannot make it through a season stable. Uh, Cousins is the only big man in the league that averaged 24 points and just under 13 rebounds last year. May I remind you, the only big putting up 24, 13, and two blocks a game. But then again, we're all reminded that Marcus Cousins is an emotional lesbian. But he's shack like in his dominance of the league, <laughs> which only leads me to the most dominant player at this position and one of the greatest players in the NBA right now. I compare him to the LeBron James at 23 or the Dwayne Wade when he won his first rank because he's that much of a superstar. He's that much of a, a boy among men who stands out like a grown man, and that's Anthony Davis. He might be the first player other than Michael Jordan to win the MVP and the Defensive Player of the Year in the same season when the Pelicans finally put some the right talent around him. Last year, he averaged 24.4 points a game, 10 rebounds a game, just under three blocks. Like I said, we don't really have to go into details. If you watch basketball, you know Anthony Davis is without question the best power forward in the game.